my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! Welcome to the Gamer Corner on the Shandy Vlogs channel. Today I'm going to be playing Tomb Raider 2. And this is probably one of the first, this was the first Tomb Raider game that I think I ever played many, many years ago, and from then I was completely addicted to Lara Croft and Tomb Raider. I would say I probably even had a little crush on, on Lara Croft. So I'm going to start off with the um, the Great Wall of China. Um, so yeah, so she is just... Um, I'm skipping all the cuts at the FMV parts because it's quite um, laggy on... Uh, PC, due to the way it was uh, made back in the day. So I'm not going to claim that this is going to be a walkthrough because I have absolutely a. Uh, I'm not the greatest with the uh, walkthroughs. Mainly to adjust the sound of this. It's rather loud in my head. Let's uh, turn this down a bit. Let's have a look at the settings for this. I'm playing on keyboard, by the way. Because I'm so used to playing keyboard with the uh, TRLE games that uh, people release on the, the interweb. I've uh, attempted to make a few myself in the in the past. Um, yeah, so I'm not going to attempt to do a walkthrough. I'm literally going to play through. I'm going to try and remember where all the secrets are. I remember where that first one is. Um, nor am I going to attempt to do a no med pack run because... Uh, I know I'll actually fail. I know um, Badass Games has successfully done it. Um, There's obviously the level, the deck later on where you have to take a major amount of damage that I know that I will not be able to avoid. So, uh, yeah, we just climbed up here into the Great Wall. I remember when I used to play this when I was younger, I used to look through these uh, windows thinking that. Uh, one of these led to uh, the area with the T-Rex. I don't know why I used to think, I think it was this bit I used to think, but obviously this is the bit where we're going to go down to in a minute. Fall down here. Also when I used to kill, I used to think that there were sharks in here. Obviously these sharks appear a bit later on in the game, but I just kept thinking, oh what if a shark or crocodile suddenly appears out of nowhere. So I'm going to pull this lever here, which opens the door behind me. Got a little Hugo around if you wonder what the, the snorting is. The thing about this game is that, unlike, I think that's from Tomb Raider 4, once the enemy is dead, she game she keeps aiming at it. She doesn't move on to the next one. Oh, where's that other crow gone? Hugo wants to come up. You can come up. Come on then. You come up. Oh. You come in the video too. You can jump up. Come on. You're part of this channel too. You can come up. So I just picked up this key. I do know this game for when I've played it hundreds of times. I said I'd count. I'd, I think I've played 27 hours worth so far on Steam. Now I think that if. I don't know who makes this game now. Is it Square. Square Enix? Something like that. Crystal Dynamics, I can't remember who took it over now, from Eidos. If they were to remake any Tomb Raider game, this would be the one that I'd love them to make. I know that uh, Nico Base is uh, currently in the process of remaking this game. I've, I've played the... Uh, I have played the level that uh, he's created the demo. Highly suggest it is, uh, it is brilliant. Oh, shit. Oops. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. It's, I would say it's better than some of the, uh, the later Tomb Raider games. 
These annoying little spiders up here. I thought there was another one somewhere. Can't hear one. Uh -huh. Pick up the rusty key. Like they would just leave a rusty key on top of a, <laughs> a building at the top. that before I thought it went all the way up. So three spiders fall down. Luckily these um she does uh stop aiming at these they like seem to blow up disintegrate uh -huh. or whatever it is. Poor man left his uh large med pack and some shotgun shells. <laughs> Wonder how long he's been there. To fall down here and uh, the wind should stop. Oh, it carries on. I'm trying to get further across. This sound effect for them um, spitting discs. Always remember them as a kid. You have to shimmy, I know you have to shimmy all the way across here. I have played this level god knows how many times now. Try not to take any damage here. Okay, now I'm going to save the game for the first time in this. Just in case I mess this up. Two boulders come run behind it. Which was absolutely petrifying when I originally played this. Uh, can I pick this up in time? Uh -huh. ah! That was close, that was close, that was close. I'm going to save it because I know that the Jade Dragon is uh, just up ahead. Come on. Ugh. Close. Slide down backwards and uh, before the spiky balls get me. Oh. I think I can get this safely. Uh -huh. Spiders somewhere around here. Where they come from? There they are. Don't want to go up to the zip wire. There's another one somewhere up near it. There it is. Oh, I think you go down here. I think. Oh, was it? Here. Shimmy all the way to the side. Um, so we're going into the rather unusual place here in this level, which you would wonder why what we're about to see is actually here. Now I know there's the flare bug in this. There is the flare bug, so if you're um I wonder what that is. You end up lighting a flare, and if you're holding like a wall, and the flare goes out, she drops the flare, but also lets go of the uh, of the um, the ladder or the, the ledge. So I'm not going to bother lighting one. So I apologise. It will be very dark in this section, and you can't see anything. But I promise you, I'm going down. And now I'm gonna lie flare. So here comes the first T-Rex. Oh god, I don't know when it appears. I'm actually quite scared. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah! Why am I screaming? Ah! I've played this so many times. Get to the safe spot. Is that the safe spot? No.
Hugo has just thought, what on earth have I just screamed? I took him up, up. Come on. Is it dead? It's dead. It's dead. Don't worry. The dinosaur's dead. You can come up if you want, Bubby. A lot of flares is done. Yeah, you can come up. You can come up. You can jump up. Come on. Here's little Hugo. Right, so there'll be the other T Rex somewhere. There it is. Sit down, Bub. Good boy. Oh, apologise for the wobble then. Here's that the um the tigers at the top have triggered as well. So this game was based on a tile-based um, trigger system, which I learned from when I used to uh, put my own little levels together. Never released any. That's a lie. I recreated the the Rome level to prove that you could do it. Right. So now it's a long climb up here. It's a long climb, puppy. Don't ever annoy me. You see it? Here's little Hugo whilst we uh, climb. He's little munchkin. I don't know what he's up to. Yeah. Boring part here. Why don't you say hello to the camera, Hugo, whilst we uh, wait for Lara to climb all the way to the top? Hmm? So we don't need to go in here, I don't believe. So, so Hughes. Oh, oh. I don't know if that triggers any more spiders. No. Let's re trigger itself. I'm going to save it here. I'm a terrible person for saving. I don't like taking risks. And the two tigers. And then there's one. Come through in a sec, there it is. So it's very strange that um, there are T Rexes underneath the Great Wall of China. Campfire, whoever could that be? Whoever could it be now to finish the level? Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> Leave that tommy gun on my keyring. Though not anymore. So after you. Somehow, you don't behave like you got the monk's blood. I understand that somehow is in my favor. So indulge me about the dagger. I'd be indebted with your life. These doors are waiting for the right one. The right time to arrive. And then the dagger's blade will honor the hearts of those who believe. So unless you pledge your loyalty as well. And which one is that? To the sins and fortunes, fortunes of Marco Bartoli. Bartoli. I don't understand why he would want to kill himself. What's she Lara gonna do? Should have shot him Perhaps anyway. not just yet then. So he's dead at the door. Mysteriously disappeared later on, if you pay any attention to her story. Aha. Uh -huh. Gianni Bartelli. Via Caravelli Venice. Bartoli's hideout. So it took me twelve minutes thirty-six. I did get all uh, three secrets and I haven't actually used a health pack yet which is pretty good going, and I shall see you in the second part, which is Venice. See you there.